Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm like the explosive one. Let's start the timer. Let's get it moving. Boom. Start TNT. Up. All right. I need to ask you a question. No. And I need to know if the person that I was dealing with, do you feel that they are a piece of crap or not? Um, so I had a, I, I was on a dating app. Oh, no, man. Here we go. And, uh, Here we go. <laughs> and ultimately, I know it, it's like, obviously, it was a blessing for me. But so so I met, I matched with this this young lady. Okay. And uh, so we matched, and I don't know, within a day or two or whatever, I think I sent a message. And I was just like, and one night we sent maybe, I don't know, four or five messages back or forth. So oh, yeah. like a good conversation. And they weren't just like, hey, one question, one answer. They were like, you know, a couple questions. You know, when you get a good rapport going, you get a couple, like a good long answer going back and forth. Okay, all right. And uh, I'm waiting for the incel behavior. To no, no. In. And uh, so we go back and forth a few times or whatever. And then the last question, it was getting later at night. She didn't reply, which is fine. So, um, so I let it go for whatever, like a week or something. And I sent, a and I was just like, okay, well, I guess I'll just send her one more message. And I sent her a message and said, hey, do you want to get together for some coffee this weekend? And she replied, uh, I might have some time or whatever. We, and anyways, so we talked back and forth for a second and figured out that we would go on like Tuesday rather than on the weekend or whatever. Okay. And, and she was like, okay, cool. And I was like, here, how about we meet here at this time? Fine. That's great. And I messaged her and I said, uh, okay, cool. I will, uh, all right, all right. I'll reach back out on Monday just to make sure we're still good. Something hasn't come up. Cause it was like four or five days later. Typical Jonas behavior. Okay. Whatever. So, and then she even two days after that, liked the message that I sent, you know, on, on some of you can just heart and say, okay, cool. So then I, uh, so then I reached out on Monday and just said, Hey, we still good for tomorrow or whatever. Okay. The next day was the date. I go, we're, I get around after work, go to get around to leave. She just unmatched. Okay. I'm like, isn't that kind of like, cause like I could have went all the way there before noticing that she unmatched. Yeah. And like, isn't that kind of trash behavior? Couldn't you at least just say, I can't make it. I don't want to go any of the above. Or do you feel they didn't deserve to do that? Because we just, had, but like, I feel if you set up a date with someone, at least cancel it. <sighs> All right, Jonas, be real with you. I feel like she don't owe you anything. She doesn't owe you shit. So no. Really? I don't, I don't Not feel... even to cancel the date. No. So so who are you? But but hold on a second. So you're saying it's okay to set up a date with someone and then just literally unmatch whatever that I could have drove all the way there. Mm-hmm. And just been stood up standing there instead of saying. Oh, no, I'm not saying is that that's okay. Oh, that's what I meant. Yeah. Like, is it okay? No. Okay. Look, so there's a difference. Is it okay? Yes, it's okay. Is it kind of a. What? What's the. Th is it inconsiderate? It is inconsiderate, right. but it is okay because you are not a considerable person in this person's life. <laughs> I agree. That is what I, I agree with say. that. I just think it's kind of crappy to like, why go through the whole thing of setting up the date to then instead, like, I could, like, what if we were going to like meet 30 minutes from here at some restaurant and I had to drive through traffic and like, you just don't even, you just unmatch rather than the common courtesy just to be like, I can't make it. Or I, mean, I don't want to go out on the date anymore. Or I don't care that you don't want to hang out. It's yeah, like, yeah. Um, like I, I I put that in the same tier of inconvenience of like that person that gets in front of you on the freeway and then slows down. <laughs> that is the degree of inconvenience that I feel right. like this individual really ca caused you. Well, but I feel ultimately it's great for me because it saved me trouble yeah. in the long run. Because if they're willing to do something like that, that's that inconsiderate to another person in general, oh, yeah, then like they would have been a terrible addition to my life. Exactly. So school of hard knocks, guess what? Tuition ain't free. Right. Oh, absolutely. So yes, you got to learn yeah. sometimes through, through trial and error. Like. I thought it was a crappy move, but I ultimately I was like, ooh, I caught a bullet, dodged a bullet on that one. Yeah, so. but to me, it just seems like to be mad at a, at a person for being flaky when we all know flaky people. I've been well, friends with Well, but I think there's a difference between people. flaky and inconsiderate. 
Yeah, but you know, I've been friends with certain people who I consider flaky. I wouldn't meet a person for the first time or consider my first meeting with a person and consider them to have to give me the consideration of me being like, oh, you're flaky. No, who cares? I'm never going to talk to you again. Yeah, yeah. I just think that for someone for being like, I could see someone in their 20s doing that, <laughs> but like a grown ass person, like, I mean, like we're all busy. We all full time job. You're going to waste my time to drive all the way to a restaurant if I happen to not but, check the app before you, I left. But you didn't drive all the way there no you didn't so we talking in a lot of hypotheticals but i mean potentially but did not mm -hmm. we can't get mad at what could have happened oh yeah exactly i i don't care like, either way I, I dodged a bullet i'm better off for it happening but like i was just like man that's really inconsiderate like people are really inconsiderate out here I like mean, i mean people are inconsiderate when you don't mean anything to them because I'm I mean, very inconsiderate to people who I don't know. Yeah, that's true. I mean, because I guess here's the thing. Like, I don't care about a lot of things, but I care about my time. And if people mm -hmm. waste my time, that's my biggest, like, pet peeve. Oh. And, like, yeah, like, you wasted my time talking to me. You wasted my time setting up a date. Ooh. You could have wasted my time Ooh. driving all the way to the damn restaurant to meet you. That's time I'm not getting back. I work 40 hours a week, yo. Like... <laughs> To drive an hour and waste my time, like, that that's really inconsiderate. That that really grinds my gears, dude. But, I mean, it did not happen that way. She, she, I mean, if you consider it a waste of time from, from the conversation that you had with her, that's that's what you take out of it. Yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i just throwing out, like, if anything, cumulatively, it yeah. wasted my time. I, and, and I know, I know, I'm the chronic optimist of the group. I'm the, I'm the glasses half full. I'm the dude people are going to... People are going to burn you and hurt oh, yeah, you absolutely. and disappoint you. Expect everybody to disappoint you because then you'll never be disappointed. Right. Absolutely. Type thing. But, you know, always hope for the best. Like, yeah. there, was, there was a chance you could have been, like, dick deep in that. But, you you know. Hey. Sometimes Whew. it doesn't happen. Well, yeah. Well, ultimately, it was for my better. And like, it's just, I guess what, yeah. I guess I try to still have faith in humanity that people are going to be, like, like, it, the same amount of time it took her to unmatch me, she could have still just said, hey, I'm not going to make it tonight. Didn't even have to say why. Didn't have to reschedule. Literally could have just sent a message saying, I'm not going to make it. So Period. The end. And then unmatched later. So you told her you were going to check up with her on Monday. And then she unmatched you when you did the check in. Right. Is that right. What you're saying? Okay. Yeah. I feel like she, she <laughs> through nonverbal communication. Right. No, no. I feel you. <laughs> Nonverbal communication. She stated where she stood on the whole. We should meet up this weekend. Yeah. Oh no, I feel you, and I was fine with like her decision because ultimately, like I said, it worked. It worked out great in my favor because because right. yeah, that 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 shows a lot about her character. Yeah, I you mean, know, so it shows a lot about a lot of things. Um, on the same note, I am like notorious for being that person that will get a text, read the text, be like, all right, I'll answer that in a minute. And then not answer the text or see a phone call, be like, oh, I need to call that person back. And then not returning a phone call or being like, hey, yo, I can show up. And then being like, oh, something came yeah. up and not wanting to explain myself, especially to a total stranger, right, right. which you were in the case. Well, well see, so, here's, but here's my thing. Stuff comes up. But, but here's my thing. She made a conscious decision to, she had her phone in her hand. She had the app. She could have said, I'm not going to make it or just unmatch and he'll find out eventually which which one is more nice and like oh nice not, i mean just i mean what like, consider it like <sighs> hey i'm not gonna make the date tonight that was, and ignore me for the rest of my life i don't care i mean and i and i feel you I'm unmatch look, takes two clicks typing a, a thing just takes i'm looking up considerate because that's exactly what it is considerate yeah Consider consider our right. like the definition of considerate. Yeah, considerate. Boom. Definition: careful not to cause inconvenience or hurt others. Both of those could have been hurtful and inconvenient. Yeah, but like I said, man, it's just another person cutting you off on the freeway. It was inconsiderate, <laughs> but like you're not gonna get out of your car and tap on their window for it. Right, right. I feel you. Anyways, right, either way, that's all time we have for today's episode. Go to crazytown.com and subscribe, uh, Jonas. TNT, we out.